What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I felt like I needed to come to you guys with this video. I'm giving you guys updates and progress on my schooling, um, the process on my degrees. Um, so at this current moment, I do not have my associates, but I ended up going to Liberty to pursue my bachelor's because I left J. Sergeant Reynolds Community College needing one credit, um, one credit class towards my associate's degree. Um, with that class that I took at J. Sergeant Reynolds, the professor of the English um, to, I can't remember what it is, 201 class, I think, or English, English 241, something like that. Um, it's basically, um, like about American literature one instead of trying to help me understand how to write an essay um, I was shut out the door and um, basically um, you know given the the stamp of plagiarism um, first of all I don't need to plagiarize someone else's work um, to create my own nowadays there are a lot of things that are going to pop up on the internet that are someone else's or that everybody else is using. So, you know, without working with me, um, helping me understand and trying to better me to write a better essay, she shut the door on me and gave me, like I said, the stamp of, oh, you plagiarized. Um, it did not go before a dean because I guess this was the summertime and COVID was happening. Um, so I was basically shut out. Um, I ended up taking a loss on that note, which, you know, like I said, I really needed that class to finish up with my associates. And I could have had my associates in summer. So I could have had it at the end of July. Um, but with that class, it, it pushed me back. Um, did I let it stop me? No. I looked for other options. I looked for other ways to still complete my associate's degree. So I ended up taking four classes at Liberty um, for the fall semester. And after that, um, it was, you know, like, how can we complete this? Let's, we need, I need to get this rolling. So I opened up and asked my old professor who is the head of the early childhood education um, associates um, at J. Sergeant Reynolds and she's like hey yeah you know that's that's totally fine take English 241 transfer it back go ahead and apply for graduation now and boom so with me having to take this English 241 class I literally have been on pins and needles trying to understand how to write a better essay how to, you know, do what's asked of me, um, how to come up with, a, you know, how to come up with three or four hundred words. And then, of course, my last essay was to write anywhere between 1,000 and 1,200. So I've been on pins and needles, worried to death since January 18th when I started the class. Like, I really have to pass. I need to pass this in order to transfer it back um, and graduate and get my associate's degree. I have two certificates hanging on the wall. My associate's degree needs to go up there too. So um, it's safe to say that I'm graduating. <laughs> I'm graduating my, for my associate's degree and I'm like so ecstatic. Like literally I seen my grade and I just started tearing up and I was like, oh my God, I finally did it. Like after years it has been since 2013 that i have been in school trying to get you know my certificates for early childhood education and then now to get my associates so i know that i can continue with my education process and into getting my bachelor's degree which will be next and i'm hoping that that's at the end of next year if nothing else sets us back um I cannot say, like, I, I couldn't be any happier. This is the moment that I have literally been waiting on 
for a good year or two now just to graduate my associate so that I know my foot is through the door. I had my foot in the door when I started, you know, getting these two certificates. But then you want to make sure that you're on the other side of that door when you have your associate. So I now can say I'm on the other side of that, of that door and that graduation is slowly approaching. I'm ready. I'm ready to, to put this cap and gown on. I'm ready to show off my associates, which is the red piece. Um, and then, you know, it's I graduated high school in 2012. And it's weird because this is the year 2021. So if you flip the one and the two, boom, 2012. So technically here it is, I graduated high school 10 years ago. Sorry. <laughs> I graduated high school like almost 10 years ago. It's, it's crazy. So here it is, it's nine years since I've graduated high school and it's taken me this long to get my associate's degree. But you know, I took one semester off um, for my daughter and that's also something that pushed me back. But I've been going strong ever since. Um, you know, there's nothing that's going to stop me from getting my education and doing what I love to do, and that's teaching, um, being around kids. So I know that, um, I know that my grandmother can look down from heaven and say, you know what, she did it. She did it. And, you know, she can, she can smile, she can laugh, she can cry, she can say, she did it. Like, there's no other words to express how I feel because I've been waiting for this moment for so long like I can't wait to explain it to my kids that you know hey I went to high school too and when I went after high school I went to college too I don't want my kids to feel like they just have to stop at high school I want them to feel like they can keep going and going and going so it's finally safe to say I'm still going but I'm getting my associates Now you can say that it is really safe to say that I am graduating with my associate's degree in 2021. There we are. 2021. Class of 2021 for my associate's. I cannot be any more proud of myself. 